All new tonight at 11. Farmers in the southern tier could be facing a sticky situation with maple sap already flowing ahead of spring. Two on your sides, Andy Payton takes us out to East Concord tonight with more on the impact in this year's maple syrup season. In the Wendell family, the sound of a hammer tapping a tree normally means the start of spring. But this year, the sap started flowing a little earlier. Really didn't have much of a winter. And because we didn't have that excessive cold, where springs kind of came early. So we've been rustling or, you know, hustling to get ready. In order for maple syrup to be tapped, the temperature needs to be below freezing at night and above during the day to allow sap to flow at the proper rate. Conditions that haven't been seen in the areas closer to Buffalo after this past week's storm left many with ice rinks for driveways, but have been consistent in the southern parts of the region for the past two weeks. Back uh, quite a few years ago, 2008 uh, in memory is a season that came quite early like this one. And it turned out to be a tremendous season for us. We can only hope that the weather patterns the same and uh, have a similar effect this year. Due to those specific weather requirements, the northeast region of the United States and parts of Canada are the only areas in the world able to produce maple syrup. But as much as the weather is what's allowed the Wendell family to farm syrup for the past 66 years, it's also keeping them from untapping their full potential. We learn to be as efficient as we can, um, try to make good choices on when to tap. Um, when to wait and try to be as efficient as possible with the production so that we can be as economical as possible. Wendell and his family's biggest fear is the typical six week season could end even sooner than it started, keeping their business from reaching its goal of 2000 gallons of syrup produced and leaving them once again in the hands of Mother Nature's wrath. We're, we're dictated by Mother Nature and when she says we're done, we're done. We can guess, um, but every time that I've tried to guess, Mother Nature proved me wrong. Andy Payton, Channel 2 News, East Concord, New York.